how bank logs and credit cards information are acquired by hackers hello guys welcome back onto smart lazy hustler and today we will take a deep look into how hackers also known as spammers acquire bank and credit card information so without any further ado let's get straight into the video but before don't forget to hit the subscription button the like and the notification bell to get notified every time we post interesting videos like this and let's just jump right into it just to let you know that this video was sponsored by ng, and this is like my go-to website whenever i want to sell my gift cards or my cryptocurrency whatever relating to data bundle and even airtime right so this is like a website i use once i get from my clients i come here immediately and i sell for the best rate in the country right so all you have to do is just click on your just impute click on register and uh, impute your full name your email address and also your phone number and just you know use the password that is it and click on sign up immediately you have access to sell and buying of um gift cards and crypto data bundle airtime whatever all right you can trust me on this and if you use the link below you get one of the highest rates so let's get started hackers use a method known as spamming to get the account information they need and the most used ones are email and sms spamming these are similar methods but one requires sending spam letters to email addresses and the other requires sending spam content to phone numbers using sms gateways there are some tools needed to be able to spam and they are number one scam pages scam pages are phishing pages that look exact as the original web page of a company such as paypal they are designed to send any login input such as username and password to their desired location such as web mails or local mail providers like gmail and yahoo mail number two c panels cPanel is a web hosting control panel software designed to simplify the process of hosting a website. This is where spammers upload their scam pages to be live on the internet. Number 3. Letters Letters in spamming is simply the content sent to email addresses or phone numbers. They contain fake notifications that get victims to hop onto the website and input their login information. And number four, mailer or SMS sender. These are medium troops which spammers send out letters or content to email addresses or phone numbers. Email spammers use bulk mail senders with SMTPs to send out letters. And SMS spammers use either API or banner gateways to send content to bulk phone numbers. So having gone through all that, we are gonna jump onto our computer screen and see how all these are combined spamming yes yeah, so guys welcome back onto the computer screen and uh, we're just gonna get straight into things so the first thing we need is scam pages so we went ahead and got a few scam pages actually two um, right here we have cash up and hunting them so we for the sake of this video we're gonna be using cash up so the next thing we need is C panel to host our cash up page on so i'm gonna go ahead and teach you where you can get cpanel for cheap prices so yes go on to your web browser and search for alex.co just like this all the links will be in the description so just go ahead and enter you'll need to create an account so i've already created an account go ahead and create an account yourself and find your account with bitcoin once you're done with that we have so many things actually here you can buy you can buy leads email leads for spamming you can buy php mailers or smtps for send outs and you can buy rdps vps c panels and shelves now c panels and shelves are used for hosting web pages but we're gonna just go for c panels and once that is done we're gonna get back yeah so guys this is the page you're looking for so just go ahead and look for a united states cpanel that has https ssl certificate installed so you can get it for 7.4 dollars you can get for five dollars you can go 
as low as three dollars but just make sure you have an https ssl certificate installed so you gotta go ahead and check if it's still up and um it's back so we're just gonna go ahead and look for another one just go to check and it's working so just go ahead and buy it and don't provide you with all the infos you need so once you buy that we just go ahead and go on to the home page of the C panel so let's just go ahead and jump right into it so this is the home page of the C panel I got so depending on your provider is gonna be a little different from my own but you're gonna get all these things right here that you need so the next thing we gotta do is host our scan page so just go ahead and click on file manager wait for it to load and um, just click on HTML this one public HTML sorry and um, now just hit upload right here now just drop the files here or you can click to upload so you're just gonna go select the cash app scan page and drop it on here it's gonna load and it says complete just hit this link to go back and now we got our scan page uploaded but we need to actually extract it so just go ahead left click and right click select extract and hit on extract files now it is done just close this and go ahead and delete this zip file right here skip this and yeah so guys just like that we got our scan page uploaded so let's go back to our home page and click on the primary domain so you're gonna see this deceptive site ahead notification thing here just because our C panel doesn't have an HTTPS that is why I said go ahead and get one so this is actually not anything just go ahead and click details and visit this and save site so now click on this cash app link here and it will direct you to your cash app just go ahead and click this and then just like this we got our cash app scam page uploaded so you can see it looks almost the same as the cash app original scam original page sorry so yes so just like that our scam page is uploaded so we gotta do few tweakings for this thing so just go back just go back to the home page go to file manager and go to open the cash app folder first of all go to public html go to cash app click and um, depending on the settings of the scam page you need to change where you need the result sent to so i'm just gonna go here and um, edit edit and so just like this you need to put in where you need your results sent to so i'm just gonna say sorry just like this so just say go ahead and save it so you need to actually find this or else you're not gonna get results it's gonna send it somewhere else so just close this and just like that we are done hosting and everything so what you're gonna do next is um, we need letter so now we jump it on to send it out the spam content to victims yeah so you need letter so we go went ahead and got a cash up letter here let's just click it and you see what on top so this is basically a letter that looks something like this so depending on the pages spamming you need each letter so you can still go ahead and hit us up who find your letter for your scam page so yeah this is how it looks we're gonna go ahead and edit this so how to edit this 
you need uh, you need a notepad plus plus or just a notepad so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this with notepad and be sure to take note of this just go ahead and click uh, and press cancel this and go ahead and cancel this and go ahead and press ctrl F just like that cancel and search for H R E F click it let me move this out of the way click it again click it again click it again and yeah so here you're gonna find this link so you get it copy this thing and replace it with your scam page link just like this this is our scam page link so just copy and go to notepad plus plus and make sure you don't cancel or remove these quotation marks right here just copy this and paste it in just like that don't do anything else and just go to control uh, file and just go to save yeah so just close out of this and basically we're done so right now what we need to do is we need a mailer so just go ahead and look for mailer you can still hit us up we'll find your mailer so right now i got a mailer right here so yeah this is my mailer and um first of all what we need is um a recipient to where we need okay so this is where this is where you place in victims email addresses so I'm gonna go ahead and just input few email addresses let's just go with my own native just like that and name you note you gotta put in something that actually will make victims believe is from the original company so just go ahead and I'm just gonna name this secure cash app and then from I'm just gonna use this so once you buy your PHP mailer they, they're gonna provide you with a, a from email address so I'm just gonna go and copy this and paste it in here just leave this blank and just go to account just just name it like this or else depending on your subject you can get it into spam box we don't need that so just name it as account just like that and uh, we are gonna go ahead and input our letter right in here so what I'm gonna do is open this again and right click and go to view source page and then I'm just gonna control A highlight everything and control C to copy and we're going back here actually it is back oh sorry oh yeah so it is actually here we're gonna paste it in just like this and uh, first of all you're gonna get some errors so what we're gonna do is just copy this whole thing right here and just paste it in so yeah this is something you need to fix and make sure it is up and running before you actually test it so I'm gonna play around with it still it is actually not working so. okay so guys I finally got it working just go ahead and um, sorry go ahead and remove this oh sorry my bad not all this we're just gonna remove this this and this and something here. just like this we are done so 
just make sure you got everything set up and just hit send now just like that everything is done so depending on where you sent it you gonna it is gonna send this this to the the email address so once the victim gets it hopefully they click on the link and it gets them to your scam page now they're gonna hit in their info just like this so once they hit it just like that it is gonna send you the information they actually inputted on your on your page so yeah just go ahead and make sure where you actually placed your your email in the file manager here Edit. Edit. so it, it is gonna send the results to this email address so just make sure you don't make any mistakes here so just like that we are done with email spamming so now to sms spamming you're actually gonna need uh, a gateway so i'm gonna go ahead and show you so yes so spammers use gateways like this actually you need a device connected with a sim card in it so they're just gonna go to sender right here and uh, they're gonna drop in the leads that they actually want to use and they're just gonna use put in the content they want to send and just like that they hit enter and they are done and that is it for today's video if you find this content very interesting just make sure to hit the subscription button and note this content is only for educational purposes only and until then see you next time